What if your son or daughter not only was delivered from drugs and alcohol or life controlling issues, but was delivered to do something great? Once a voice of depression and hurt and lies and emptiness and apathy became a voice of, of hope and joy and life, I want you to know that that can happen in your life. That can happen in your family. If you are praying and you are interceding on behalf of a loved one who struggles with drug and alcohol, I'm telling you, God can do anything. Any, anything. I was living a life of just selfish ambition, drug addiction, uh, strung back out on heroin and Xanax, seeking a life of pleasure, everything but God. I mean, literally just worldly desires. What that did is it brought me to a place of emptiness, loneliness, uh, doubt. I mean, it was perverted, it was twisted. My life was so become so darkened in such a short amount of time. Life was cool for a little bit. We were hardworking family. You know, we didn't have a lot, but we made it work. As I got older, my eyes were open to my father's alcohol addiction. In eighth grade, getting into uh, bad stuff, I was fighting a lot of kids because my dad would put hands on me and my mom. It just uh, wasn't healthy for a family. As a young teen, trying to figure out how to cope with physical abuse in the home and then outward sexual abuse that happened elsewhere. I don't know that I ever really got God or Christ. I don't know that it was there. Even a local gang took me in, taught me how to rob cars, sell drugs, wondering if I was gonna catch a case or a bullet. Every day was, am I gonna die today? There was a banging on my door. Boom, boom, boom. And they, they, they obtained me, they grabbed me, they began to search me and pat me down. They found a hypodermic syringe and some heroin and they took me to jail. I had nothing to really to really grab a hold on to, just kind of walking around with no really meaning to my life at that at that time. You know, I had a 35-year career in the drug scene, you know, gunning and running, doing all the good things, thinking that, you know, that was a cool thing to do. My wife had had a miscarriage. I began to drink fairly heavily. Kind of just fed up with myself and, and with the way things were going, controlled by, um, by my heroin addiction. I didn't want to feel, if you know what I'm saying. All the, all the ways I was doing everything was completely wrong. Well, let's just put this way, I was broken. I had quit going to church, ended up working a dead-end job that would not pay the bills anymore. Fell away from God, just didn't pray no more, living for the world. I lost my identity in, in, in Christ. Countless rehab, AA programs, and I mean, I probably did 12 rehabs. Outpatient, nothing worked. Just one day, I couldn't even walk no more. I had blisters on my feet. Next thing you know, my cousin went to my cousin's and I was like, so are you done? I'm like, I'm done. Like, he already knew. And see, I didn't have a relationship with God, but in that moment, I lifted up an honest prayer and I said, God, if you're real, I need you. I need you to intervene in my life. I don't know what put it on her heart, but she asked the judge for a program. I didn't know which program I was going to. I had no idea where I was going. And I asked her, where am I going? She said, San Francisco Teen Challenge. So I spoke to God one night and I told him, if there's a way that you need me to come back to TC to restore my life and my restoration with you and make a way. So he did. I just got to a spot where I began broken again. I took a break from my career and now I'm here in San Francisco Teen Challenge. Some of my cousins suggested Teen Challenge and I was just really hesitant. I didn't even want to come. And I finally submitted and surrendered and I was just like, okay, God, I'm going back. I raised my hands at church. I started feeling stuff just come out of me. You know what I mean? Just peace. A lot of burdens and a lot of heaviness on my shoulders. Yeah, I entered Team Challenge and I, I heard his voice and he said, You are my son, you are loved, and I have a plan for your life. God brought me to a place of where my pride was broken. Next thing you know, I've been here and it's probably been the best thing in my life ever happened, dude. God's doing amazing things in my life now. I know that that inner child's come out. I've had many uh, sessions here at Team Challenge. I feel the inner child is. Has, has now been healed of where it's at. Um, I've seen a lot of restoration in my family. My dad's now sober. I've um, been here for two and a half weeks now. I have the fire lit back inside me. You know, I, I would recommend it 110%. The change that, that you'll see, 360 degrees. <laughs> Just, I, man, the love that Jesus has shown me through the Staff at Teen Challenge. 
My mom's going to church. My brother's willing to accept Jesus into his life now. My cousin has accepted Jesus in his life now too. You know, I mean, I, I always brag about how good God is now, you know, and. So I, I see the power that God has just by working with me, you know, just, just using me as a tool to bring restoration to my family. It's amazing. So I, I should be dead right now. But we are God's children and God has a plan for every one of us. If I need to be broken to the life better lived, the things of this world, the money and what have you, to be used, then, then let me be broken. and that the Holy Ghost lives within me, and that He corrects, He teaches, but He loves, and He comforts, and He's patient with me. And The change that happens in, the, in these guys' lives, the restoration, the healing that takes place because of your support, with the help of your support, it, um, man, it's, uh, it's amazing. So thank you guys so much.